Hello, veterans and family. I'm Commander Santanam, helping hands for ECHS, a voluntary effort. He's very happy to bring a new video series. This is called as Uncover Facts. The first in the series, which is video number 91, is to uncover facts on ECHS 64 KB card. Let me introduce this Uncover Facts on ECHS series. You are aware so far I have made 90 videos focused on every ECHS service and policy and they are available as YouTube channel Helping Hands for ECHS. As I mentioned, it covers every ECHS services and also the policies and how to get the best health care from ECHS organization and associated hospitals. This new video series will provide you facts and possibly speedy answers for every one of those items which I'm going to discuss in case you want to know more details a corresponding video which may be one minute or it may be even 10 minutes is available in my channel you will have to launch that and see the details step-by-step -step procedures are given screenshots are given how to do how to use the automated facility everything is available in these details this is just at a as i mentioned speedy answers and facts okay so let's go facts on echs 64 kb card Applying for 64 KB card is online only, end to end, right from registration to receipt is online. Physically, you go only for collection of your card. You are any designated representative. There are two types of ECHS smart cards are issued. Why we call it smart card? Because there, all the cards have got a chip where certain data is stored. One is an ordinary card, which is white on the side where your photo is printed. And the reverse side, it is light blue in color. The other one is called as a white card for disabled. Both sides are white in color. There are only two types of cards. So you will be having either of this card. If you are still holding a card and if it doesn't match, that means it shows you are having an old card card which is not accepted by ECHS. It could be a 32 KB card or a 16 KB card. Please see my videos how to identify the type of card 16 KB and 32 KB and take action. See another video where right from registration to receipt of the card there is a video how to apply for the card online. Sitting from the comfort of your home you can do it. Next one is with the 64 KB card you can go to any polyclinic outside your regional center area of responsibility. Okay, every regional center has got certain polyclinic associated with the regional center. Okay, it is called as area of responsibility. Outside that regional center area of responsibility, you can go to any polyclinic and you can obtain treatment using the 64 KV card. Let's say you are in Delhi, you are traveling to another city, let us say Bangalore. That means you have come out of the regional center area of responsibility of Delhi, regional center Delhi 1 or Delhi 2, there are two regional centers. You come to Bangalore, you can go to any polyclinic in Bangalore and obtain treatment. See the OPD or medicines for 15 days or a referral. Okay. You can choose any polyclinic as your parent polyclinic. What you put first time in the application, that's your parent polyclinic. Let's say you are in Chandigarh, that polyclinic in Chandigarh, you have selected under a particular regional center, it's called a parent polyclinic. Similarly, your spouse and dependents, your spouse is not a dependent from an ECHS perspective. Spouse and dependents can choose any polyclinic as a parent polyclinic. If you choose Chandigarh, your spouse can choose Delhi. 
dependents can choose Bangalore, Chennai or anything. Next important feature which is available, you can change the parent polyclinic every three months completely online. You don't have to fill up any form. So the first time you choose some parent polyclinic, once you get your card, after that every three months you can keep changing it. Let's say you are traveling to another station and you are going to be there, let's say for three months or maybe 92 days or 100 days. You can simply change from your comfort of your home, go to the new station, go to the kiosk, your card starts working and the polyclinic gets changed to that particular station. You gave a registered mobile number when you did the first application. You can change the registered mobile number. The ESM, ex serviceman is called, ex serviceman or ex service member is called as a primary beneficiary and others are called as spouse and dependents. If you are given a mobile number for spouse separately, you can change that or you can change your own registered mobile number. This is very much required if you have to log into the site to manage your 64 KB card. Without logging in, you can't manage these things like changing polyclinic every three months online, etc, etc. The ninth feature is you can order a reprint of your 64 KB card online in case you lose the card. You pay for this card about 50, 50 bucks or 53, 54 rupees because you are ordering a reprint. No FIR, etc. are needed. There's still some doubts in some ex-serviceman who calls me and said, I have to go and get FIR. Nothing is required. They're, ECH has made it very simple. Just sit down, open, go log into the site, order a reprint, select the reason as loss of card, and you will pay it. You once you do this loss of card, please see the video how to manage loss of card. Immediately after you do this, you pay for this card. You can download a temporary slip. Get it signed and stamped by the OSC of any polyclinic nearby. That temporary slip is as good as a 64 KB card till you get this actual card. You will get all services, both in polyclinic, empanel hospitals, claims, etc. The next one is you already applied for the card, you got received the card. At this point in time, for some reason, you want to change some data which is there in the application. You can change your name. Supposing you have changed your name in your service records, naturally your card has to map to that same name. It is important that you change the name. This is called as change in data, completely done online. When you do this, that data which you have changed should match with the record. That's very important. Please see my video on change in data. Very important these days, especially when your name in the card does not match with your PAN card or your Aadhaar card or your pension sparse name or the name in the sparse. So all the four, it is better that they match completely, all four matches. Coming to all dependents, spouse is not a dependent, so parents, children, son, daughter, under some condition, you must complete annual validation of the ECHS membership for all dependents. You must do it on time and online. Again, there is a focused video how to do this. Step-by-step -step procedures, including screenshots I made. If you do it on time, online, then that will get, that particular card will be active for another 12 months. If you don't do it, the card gets blocked automatically and then you'll have to do it another process to get this validation completed. So better to be on time online. In case you your card has been working and suddenly when you went to the kiosk, it stopped working. It doesn't read the card or the chip. So without reading by this kiosk, you can't get any services. So contact OEC Polyclinic. They have a module for fault diagnosis and for replacement. In case the chip is defective, this fault diagnosis will show 
OSC will take action to order for a new card or a replacement card free of cost. Okay. If there is a physical damage, then you have to apply for reprint. Next important point, on demise of a beneficiary, the respective card should be blocked online and the spouse can become a primary beneficiary. This is another important feature that is the spouse becoming a primary beneficiary so that all dependence validation can now be done by the spouse itself. There's a detailed video on this. What actions to take on demise of a beneficiary? Primary beneficiary and other beneficiaries. Many people forget password to log into the ECHS card application site. You can manage this if you remember the answer to the two security questions which you gave when you registered your mobile for the first time in the card application site. Please understand 64 KB card is powerful, but it is a must show document to get treatment in polyclinic and in empaneled hospital. So there are about 15, 9, 10, I repeated this 9 here. So there are about 15 to 16 facts which I have covered, which are basically features, which are facts, which are available to every one of us if you have 64 KB card. Your feedback is very welcome to me. You can write to my mobile number, WhatsApp message, so that I improve these videos. Upcoming videos on Uncover series, Uncover facts on treatment at Empanel Hospital, about referral for treatment. You will get a referral from Polyclinic. On military hospitals, treatment at military hospitals, treatment at non-empanel hospitals, and finally treatment at polyclinic. Each one of these uncover facts will be one unique video. So volunteer effort, please visit my web portal link, which is here, and my YouTube channel. When you see this, please hit subscribe button and also give your valuable feedback to me. If you refer these, you don't have to ask anybody I am trying to empower each one of you with information to get the best out of ECHS. Taken a lot of effort to do these videos. So please do not copy my humble request or reproduce it. Please share it to as many as you want. I thank you very much and appreciate your support. Jai Bharat.